Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. Wow, somebody has something amazing that's about to happen. The Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Wheel, Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands, Knight of Wands. Ace, I'm hearing somebody say, hey, go get the money, go get the money. Y'all, this is like, and the reading that I just posted that I recorded earlier today, there's a big financial breakthrough or opportunity that's happening for a lot of people because for many people in the collective, unfortunately, some of these karmic situations, schemes, scandals, or whatever, your money has been on hold, okay? Um, some type of finances are being recovered for you. You're, you could be winning a lawsuit and this is a for some this is a lot of money if it's not money it's an opportunity that you're about to be presented with though that is going to take you into a very very prosperous and abundant time in your life the seven of, of swords is here the seven of swords is that's you know sneakiness it's deception it could be a betrayal the seven of swords can also sometimes speak of someone that has a plan or a strategy that they feel the need to um, hide. The Seven of Swords also, this card says a material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself. So somebody, something could be coming out that has to do with how someone makes their money, but that's, that's not what I'm getting. And today's spirit just keeps pulling me away from anything negative or dark. God is really make, trying to make sure that I am talking to the people right now who are trying to tap into their new manifestations and blessings. We've talked enough about the doom and gloom. We need to really focus and prioritize on the blessings that are coming in. And that's what new moon energy is about, is your manifestations. Yeah, there's been people in the background trying to stop and block you, but that was not successful. Whoever or whatever tried to block you, they were not successful at this. So let's not focus on it. You have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles out here out of six cards. And you have the Ten of Wands. So this is saying that the burdens are over. The, the days of you working very, very hard, not receiving rewards, recognition, having victory and success. That's coming to an end. Now, for some of you, this is some things that could be happening over the course of the next um. several months there was something very significant that took place for some of you last month in the month of june that was that gemini energy it's something about your divine contract you coming into union with yourself that's the energy of the lovers it doesn't have to necessarily have anything to do with another person but for some of you you're falling in love with who you are actually becoming okay you falling in love with who you are becoming has triggered a lot of people to throw chaos and conflict your way because they already know that you are well on your way to something amazing. That energy is being pushed away. Do you have the Ace of Cups here? Somebody also has been hiding a plan to present a cup of love to you. That's very clear here. Someone has been in the background working very hard on themselves and this is going to create, like I said, an opportunity for someone to create, to present you with an opportunity. The Eight of Pentacles. There's um, someone has possibly been keeping a secret about how they make money. Or someone has secretly been... Um, learning about something maybe like um going to a mentor somebody could be hiding the fact that they've even been going to therapy okay that's for somebody somebody has been hiding the fact someone has not been as open about their self growth and self development or healing journey with someone this could be either you have been keeping something close to your chest or someone that you're dealing with they've been keeping close to their chest the fact that there's a situation in their life where they've been betrayed or this is you. They've lost some type of peace of mind, their personal freedom 
maybe taking a financial loss. Someone here could have lost a job. Left a job. But there's this beautiful new opportunity that's being presented here with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is someone realizing that they need more balance in their life, that they're working too hard. They're over, overworked, overstressed, like overwhelmed. And it's like all of a sudden, it's like an angel comes into a person's life. And it's like, let me take that off of you. Let me take the burdens from off of you. This could be in the friend, in, I said in the friend, in the form of a friend, family member, lover. This could be someone that you, you may meet. They could be like a mentor to you. But this, this cup, this love is being presented to someone who is extremely burdened. Now, you could be the person that's offering someone this type of love or someone has come in to offer you this love. The Seven of Swords being here, though, this is something that you probably need to keep to yourself or someone they feel the need to keep it to themselves. Why? Because it needs to be protected. The Ten of Cups is here with the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is very fast moving energy. It could be communication. This is also like un unexpected, unplanned events coming about that move very, very, very fast. But the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups, it's like somebody's love for a new project or a person. It's, it's like the inspiration. Somebody here is so incredibly inspired right now to just be the absolute best version of themselves. Somebody here is really, really thinking a lot about family planning the ten of cups here i feel like somebody is like yo i gotta drop every single thing that i've been hiding every secret like i just need to, somebody's like i need to get my life together why because someone here is either in love or they're ready to be in love because someone wants to quickly move into planning like a family or planning something for their family the wheel is here and the knight of wands. It's like something just like moved. There's a roadblock, a, a delay. The, everything just, it's a mountain has been moved out of the way for someone. And someone now, they have the passion, they have the confidence. Or that's what's coming in. This is also someone, like I said, someone is very, very passionate now about a connection about a relationship, about, like I said, doing things for their family. I heard about being the breadwinner. Somebody wants to be the breadwinner. They want to be the provider. They want to, like somebody wants to work hard. But the first card out is this seven of swords. This is not, none of this energy is sneaky and deceptive. Somebody is just, you know how sometimes you meet people who, um, <laughs> they kind of like that element of surprise. Or you meet some people who are just like, they love to prove people wrong. It's that type of energy. You may have misjudged a person or not known how serious someone was, or maybe this is how someone um, prejudged or misjudged you. They had no idea just how focused, how driven, how passionate, how serious someone truly is. And for some of you, this is a relationship. You have a person this either in your life or about to enter your life, this person is marriage minded. That's all this person is thinking about. They're not worried about anything besides this Ten of Cups and this Ten of Pentacles. And they're willing to do whatever it takes to work towards it. This person is dropping everything that is standing possibly in their way. So all of their karmic ties and connections is being removed so that they can have this very positive shift and change in their life. Someone here is willing to relocate. They're willing to travel. They're willing to do whatever it takes at this point to do what? Yes, to get this Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. They're like, I have to, I just have to make it. I have to get this. Wow. If, if this is you, kudos to you. If you have a person in your life that's like going this hard, Coming towards you, you are going to be happy and set for life. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This is like a a windfall of just blessings and abundance. This is all good fortune. 
This someone here could be purchasing a home or a vehicle. If somebody is not doing this right now, they are in the mode of manifesting it. So someone is putting manifestations out right now. I just looked at the TV and I, this is interesting because for the last two days, for some reason, the TV that's in front of me here, <laughs> the TV that's in front of me, it's just on Netflix, just the home page. So I just see the different stuff being previewed. But what I just saw was the longest promise. The longest promise. And um, this is like a vow. Like someone I do feel is vowing to be like the absolute best version of themselves. They may, they, whoever this is may not be in a relationship. This could be you. You may not be in a relationship. You may not have even met this person. But when you get to this level of, um, when you have this type of passion about being the best version of yourself, you will attract a like-minded person or like-minded people. So if this person is not in your life, if you stay in this energy, you will attract this person. If you have someone in your life, you can expect things to go um, into like this new season of abundance and, and peace quite rapidly. Let's click oh, 10 of Pentacles, 10 of Pentacles, 10 of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. Wow. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Like all of your wishes come true. And now we have, here's the, the 10 card, 10, and here's the strength card. So I have one, two, Three, all four of tens are out here. So something is over. If there's been any type of sh stronghold or something to test your strength or your faith, you won the battle. It's over. Yeah, Queen of Cups and the release. You've been freed completely from a situation. And there's been an awakening, an upgrade. And yes, now, Nine of Pentacles. You get to just like sit, sit in the shade and chill. Whoa, this is like... And here's the knight, the knight of pentacles and the eight of cups with the king of cups and the ego. See, this is, um, and I've been picking this up. This is why the Gemini energy is significant because that's the lovers. There's a masculine out here who is hiding the fact that they walked away from something. Okay. And that they are working really hard right now to come in with this ace of cups offer that's going to lead to the ten of cups, ten of pentacles with them. Again, you may not know this person. I want to make it very clear because as the energy shifts and my reading shift, I'm not talking about past people who have hurt you or harmed you in any way. So please do not get in the comments and say you won't let this. I'm not talking about a past person. If this person is from your past, this is not someone who has hurt or harmed you. This is someone, if they ever left you, it was only because they knew for a sure fact that they could not protect you and provide you in the way that they should. That's the only reason why this person would have left you. These are good, noble men and women that are, are coming out in these readings. I'm not talking about these low vibrational negative people that's out here scheming, scamming, and trying to steal your destiny. That's not who I'm talking about. And I'm very firm in my delivery about it because I want it to stop, especially on my channel. It doesn't make sense that every single time there's anything positive, Everyone wants to shoot every positive message down. We are not going to live in doom and gloom. That is not why we're here on this planet. The, re the negative readings, they come out, but that is not what I'm going to say. These readings are not actually for entertainment purposes. My ears just got so hot. So I know there's some people that's mad. That's okay. I mean, my ears are like on fire right now. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I just have to let that be known because listen, I want to talk to the people who are ready for who are ready for a financial breakthrough, who are ready for true love, and you will never get there worrying about the past. It's just not gonna happen. There's a masculine though who is walking away from something or has walked away from something, and they are now preparing themselves to be a, a someone's divine partner, an actual spouse. This is energy. Again, you may not know this person. If you do know this person, you don't know how serious this person is about building a life, a family, and a legacy. Your love, your ability to forgive is where, and your 
ability to be vulnerable is where all of your strength is coming from. But someone is stepping fully into their personal power or they need to. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. It's like the gates are open. You're not bound anymore. The Ten of Swords, this tough situation in your life, it's over. The situation that has brought you sadness and grief and that's like the weight is being lifted off of your shoulders. That's why the Ace of Cups is here with the Ten of Wands. It's like God is saying, I know you've been very much overworked. You've been used, you've been abused. Your spiritual team, they know what you've been through. Your spiritual strength had to be tested. Why? So that you can rank up. And so here you have this masculine for some. And masculine could be male or female. This person is walking away from what doesn't serve them that they got themselves into because of ego. And we all have to, you know, be mindful of ego. It, it's natural. Everyone has it. Someone could have gotten themselves in a situation in the past because they were more so in their ego. They're coming out of that now. They're releasing this because they're going through an awakening. And I just noticed the king and queen of cups are out here. So there is indeed like an intuitive, telepathic, psychic connection between two people because these this is king and queen of cups. That's water energy. Your emotions with someone else, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very like psychic bond and your intuition is going to help you here this king of cups is the kind of person who they're emotionally intelligent and strong they don't show their emotions hence the reason why we have the seven of swords out here this person is not going to come right out and say hey i'm madly in love with you i want to marry you i want to take care of this they're not going to say that this person likes to surprise people This is the kind of person who will have a second job and you will never know it. Whole time it's like they, they have a second job and they're about to start a business or they're saving up for, you know, a, a down payment on a house or a, an engagement ring. Or something. You will never know. Because this is the type of person that I'm picking up on that they want loyalty so bad that they're testing before they give this level of loyalty to someone, they're testing your loyalty as well, especially if you're a divine feminine. Because this is someone who knows the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, they know what they bring to the table. And this could be you. You could be a divine feminine. You could be playing it really, really safe with any person that you meet because you know what you bring to the table. But divine feminists, you guys have to realize that there are divine masculines, especially men that are out there who are, they're, they're decent just like you you can't allow the karmic masculines that are in this distorted energy to make you believe that there are no good men and or women out there because they are out there you can't think you're the only great person that's out here you have someone out there that will match your energy just stop giving your energy to the wrong people stop worrying about the people from the past that have already shown you their true colors because here the transformation card is here with the six of pentacles this huge life transformation that you're going through right now is bringing you all of your good deeds back. Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. So all of the good things that you've done to the bad people is going to come back to you tenfold now. This is like a big energy. My ears are on fire and my heart felt like it was going to jump out of my chest. Wow. And there are no negative cards out here. None. This is all hard work, discipline, love, <sighs> psychic bonds and connections, family. I mean, it really is like a it's like a dream sitting on this table. I it's, this is like a dream right here. And here's the Ten of Cups at the bottom of this deck. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. All those good... Cut the deck. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. 
Whoa. <laughs> I know what I'm feeling. This is like, and I, maybe it's this Leo energy that's about to come in, but somebody is going after their dreams with a vengeance. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Underneath that is the Six of Wands and then the Ten of Wands. Like I said, Ten of Wands. This is just keep going, keep pushing, keep moving. Don't worry about who did it. Don't worry about the, the hard work, the stress. Yeah, you may be burnt out. Somebody is like, I don't care about that. I want this money. And somebody's motivation right now for money is because they truly want a family. Wow. Ten of Cups. That's like peace, harmony. It's blessings. New Moon and Cancer. This is the home. Something has happened with somebody. Somebody had a dream. They woke up and they're just like, yeah, I, I want to be married. I want to have kids. I want this. I want that. And they have come up with a game plan. Somebody could be doing like a vision board and they're like, let's go. With every burden all their stress, all their fear, all their anxiety. Someone's like, it does not matter. Someone has tapped into something in their, like in their bloodline. It's like this person just knows that they're, they're the one that has to create these roots, this legacy, this windfall, this business. They, they know that that's their calling. That's what they, like somebody just knows their calling right now. So either this is you or you, this could be you, but you may, it seems like you're going to meet someone just like this. Man, that's literally like, right now we have seven tens out here. Ace of Cups. Wow. This Ace of Cups is here, and I see the Four of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Seven of Swords, and the Judgment, Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Sun. Y'all, this is, somebody is, somebody out here could be hiding the fact that either they're wealthy or they have some type of plan or an opportunity that's going to make them very wealthy. It's something about someone here that they're not sharing with anyone. The Ace of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Someone here wants to have a brand new beginning. Something is in its early stages. Ace of Cups can speak of any type of new emotional beginning. It could be marriage. It could be a child. It could be a new job. It could be anything. But look, the Four of Pentacles. Someone is holding on to what? With the Hermit here? Someone is holding on to something very spiritual, very sacred. Someone, and I have a reading and I have not released it yet. Someone out here could for sure be highly anointed. They could have like a spiritual gift or someone it has been working on something. Once again, here's this seven of swords. And then judgment is here. Page of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Sun. Somebody has known that they were building something up and that whatever they were building, I feel like there's a person who has been afraid that someone from their past or someone that they know was going to come in and like rob them blind. Okay, this could be a lot of situations. This could be a lot. This could be a situation where someone has been married. They've gone through a divorce, lost everything. They're starting over, or somebody could have gone been going through um a divorce, and they haven't. They've purposely not allowed themselves to make more money because they didn't want the other person to take half. It's something like that, where somebody here has truly been hiding. They've been withdrawing from a situation. Now, if this is someone that may be currently in your life, if there's been like a, 
you and this person kind of taking time apart space. This person is hiding the fact that they're madly in love with you. But this person is, is going through like a major awakening where they're seeing something very clearly about you, about themselves, about their life, about their divine purpose, their calling. They're understanding why things in their life were delayed to begin with, why they were moving. So but this person has a reason why they've been moving slowly. This person is very methodical in their approach. But once they go, like they're going straight to the, to the towards the sun. This person is so ambitious. They, they just have been waiting on one thing. You know how like you, you see people and it's like, you know their person, they're meant to be a star. They just need to be discovered. This is somebody they just need one person. They just need their right person, their right place, their right opportunity, and that's it. They're set for life. And whatever this is, someone has found it or they are about to get the key that they need that unlocks all of their blessings. This is someone, the Seven of Pentacles, who has been investing in themselves for quite some time. All of their hard work is paying off. But if this is like a divine connection, the same thing is happening to you. Or this is happening to you and you're going to notice it happening with another person that comes into your life. You and someone may be mirroring each other, but divine feminines and divine masculines, the pathway for you to be the best version of yourself you know, while you're single and independent is here, but you are going to go into connections with other people. And it's going to like this success is like amplified because the karmic debts are moved. Like they've been removed. The karma, like the blockages are gone. So it's just like full throttle. Three of Cups. It's a lot of celebrating coming. Whew, look at this. Three of Cups, Four of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and the world with the devil. Like I said, somebody here has removed pride and ego. They're, they're getting people out of their energy who are jealous and obsessive and manipulative. People are getting rid of people who come into their lives who they know are very tempting who aren't good for them. So someone here has taken time out, this hermit energy and four swords to rest, to retreat, to move away from somebody here could be going as far as to relocate. Like if this is if it's not good for my spirit, it's not good for my soul, I don't want any parts of it. Someone is very, very serious right now about getting away from anything or anyone toxic. So somebody is really serious about their healing journey. And this is going to lead to a friendship or a collaboration, a celebration, a union or reunion between two people or some groups of people. And it's going to lead to the Ace of Pentacles. This could be like a major creative project. This could be a group of contractors, a group of spiritualists, a group of any, any, it doesn't matter the profession, but it's like a group of like-minded people coming together and they are about to build something that's huge. It could be seven or more people. The queen of swords, seven or more, like really, um, intelligent, like independent, you know, smart individuals coming together, working on something, you know, seven of pentacles, like really working hard diligently so that they can manifest something amazing and may for some it's a relationship it's two people coming together and the, you guys may work for other people for some of you there's like a group of people here somebody could be getting a team of individuals together wow this is like major whoever these and but the reason why this energy is like this is because so many people have been feeding off of the energy of God's chosen ones. Now that your energy is coming back, now that you are taking control and you're getting all these like imposters out of your energy, you're going to see how powerful you are when you have access to your, your own energy. That's really what this is. You're, you're regaining access to energy that you haven't been able to tap into because everyone else has been using it. So the more that people are blocking and deleting and cleansing and clearing and cutting 
the more of your energy is coming back. And somebody here must clearly have a, a, a energy of that um, can manifest wealth. Because this is just like money, money. Financial opportunities just come. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment is happiness. It can be luxury, enjoying the fruits of your labor, blessings, abundance. Like I said, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups usually sometimes can speak of a single person. But you have the Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups is out here twice. So again, this is you being very much financially stable on your own. And then you come together with someone... And you, you can share this together. Someone here could be marrying into money or you're going to marry someone and the two of you are going to create a lot of money together. This could be a connection or there's a group project or something here where there's going to be public recognition. A lot of good news. There, You could have popularity or a lot of people may just take a lot of special interest in whatever it is that you're doing. The Ten of Swords is here. So this, all of this comes after being stabbed in the back, betrayed, and at rock bottom. And being in some cycle of bad luck and then boom, all of a sudden, three of wands. Growth, expansion, your ship's coming in. Queen of Cups is here. Wow. And then the Empress. And then the King of Pentacles. Three of Wands, Queen of Cups, the Empress. This could be the same person. You have three, three out here. Three times three is nine, and here is nine. And then I have the Three of Cups, the Three of Wands, and then the Empress. All of those are three. So three, three, three could be significant. The Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Someone here is having a major breakthrough. The Ace of Swords is, I, I feel like there's two, like, Archangel Michael carrying his sword, and he's coming in, making sure that you have victory and success. You have mental clarity. Your new ideas. There's no more illusions. Here's the nine of swords. Look at that. Nine of swords, seven of cups, five of cups, the two of swords, and the eight of cups. This is all stuck, stagnant energy. It's like your angels, your guys, Archangel Michael's coming in with the sword of truth saying, no more will you be stuck. No more will you not know the path that you're supposed to go on. No more will you be in stagnant energy, torn in between different paths or different people. No more will you be stuck worrying about grief regret shame no more will there be illusions and conflict no more will you be depressed dealing with stress fear anxiety no more it's over the ace of swords is here you should have the mental clarity now to move forward if you don't it's coming if and if it's not coming wow look at that eight of wands and then the star Whew. i like i have chills and i'm little i'm like shaking Eight of Wands, somebody is going straight into like this healing. For some, it's spotlight. Or, you, you know, you may not even be the, the type to crave spotlight or attention. But, but something that you're doing is going to get the attention of a lot of people. It has something to do with you being creative and an inspiration to others. Here, whoa. <laughs> Eight of Swords in the Strength card here. This is three eights. Eight, eight, eight. That's abundance. And the star. So I'll be honest. This reading is very positive. Three of Swords. You're healing because this Three of Swords energy here, Six of Pentacles, this Four of Wands is in the reverse. Some of you guys, unfortunately, you were in a contract with someone and it could have for sure been like a false um, connection, a, a karmic friend, family member or lover. This was causing you so much emotional pain and suffering from third party situations, you know, breakups, betrayal and all of this other stuff. The Six of Pentacles, you were not receiving what you were supposed to receive in life, which is all of this great energy all these blessings and abundance someone has been in the background stealing all of your abundance because you've been sharing your energy with with this person or this group whether it was knowingly unknowingly consciously or unconsciously your energy has been shared with the wrong person or group there's a soul tie or something here or someone has been siphoning or harvesting your energy 
and it has been keeping you from all things that would allow you to be celebrated or to celebrate. So your stability has been in the reverse, your happiness, you know, not having the peace that you want in your home, not being able to fully rest and have joy and the prosperity. It has been in the reverse because of this heartbreak, because somebody came in to break your heart and to block everything. But now you have the justice, the ace of wands and the fool. Something is new here. It's the justice. So something here is over. Whoever has been competing with you, trying to block your path in your journey, trying to sacrifice you in some way, that's over. The Hierophant is here, the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles and the Magician. For some of you, to be completely honest, especially if you're a Divine Feminine watching, you've had at least two different masculines in your energy. One of these masculines was li literally like the devil. And one was sent to you by the Most High. You see this Three of Wands here, the Queen of Cups and the Empress, the Hangman here. Some of you, you have literally had someone that's like a master occultist or something like that, that was in your past, whether it was a family member, friend, or even a lover of yours that has been competing with you, causing you a lot of conflict, causing obstacles, challenges, and a lot of just struggle in your life because whatever you're doing or whatever you're meant to do, it's... um. It's very damaging to this person's ego. So this person most likely has been spiritually attacking you, trying to sacrifice you or just causing delays in your journey. But see, the Hierophant is here with the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. And then there's the Magician and the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. And the King of Wands. Whoa. You know what? And then the Moon here and the Nine of Wands. Let me tell you what this is. You guys, literally, for some of you, this may not be everyone's story. There's a group of men who have been in the background causing delays, trying to sacrifice a divine feminine. We have the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Magician, the King of Wands. Here's the Moon card the nine of wands, someone here has been in an ongoing battle of being tired, worried, weary, okay, guarded, wounded, constantly experiencing setbacks. Maybe you've had bad dreams, you've been paranoid, almost just crippled and paralyzed by fear, not understanding why. It's because you have a cult or a coven in the background that has been playing around with magic. This is at least this is three or more men that have been doing this to a divine feminine who is the nine of pentacles. This divine feminine is someone who is very financially free, stable, someone with who has achieved a lot on their own. And you're very strong. So these individuals have been stripping you of like siphoning and harvesting your energy in the background. So you most likely have been in a connection with someone who has been stealing your energy and they've been taking it back to this group. Mm -mm. You have a new, a new person coming into your life. They're trying to stop anybody from coming into your life. The King of Swords is not out here. You know why? Because the King of Swords is a spiritual judge. The King of Swords is fair and just. I have a reading. I have not released it yet. But this King of Swords has been hidden the entire time. Why? Because this person is a spiritual judge. Somebody... They thought they were doing a lot by messing with this divine feminine. They have no idea, though, who this divine feminine is tied to in the spirit as far as who this divine feminine's actual counterpart is. This has started a, a whole war, but I feel like. Even the divine feminine has called judgment on this situation. So when you decided to call judgment on one person from your past, could be this king of cups. 
some of you there's a for sure this person has heavy scorpio in their chart this is like a dark empath or a dark um priest and a cultist or something like that this person has been trying to get this divine feminine to come back to them so that they could grow and expand because they already know that all of this wealth and abundance is what's surrounding you but this is the individual what this masculine has determined if they can't be with you physically they will hold on to your energy they're holding on to your energy and they're taking it back to this king of pentacles and this king of wands and this hierophant this spiritual leader or occultist this is a whole group or clan cult of men who have been spiritually attacking and harvesting the energy from this divine feminine and something has changed they no longer have access to your soul everything that they've been stealing from you is coming back they've been really really doing something with your heart chakra my ears was on fire i don't know what that's about but obviously your your spiritual sight your spiritual ears your crown chakra crown third eye um throat from the neck up I just heard a dead man walking. I wish I could. If my TV right now, the SWAT team is here and it's three men. And I literally just saw blood ties. It was three women. It's something about the power of three. This is this is three or more people. But see, you have blood ties. These people, this could be a group of men doing this or they're doing blood sacrifices or what, whatever is happening. But where there's three or more attacking you, <laughs> there's three or more praying for you and protecting you. Wow. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Very exciting news coming in about a solid new beginning for you. Why? Because you have the death here. Something is over. The wheel of fortune is turning. Why? So that everything can balance itself out temperance. This group of men has been constantly trying to sacrifice a divine feminine. What they saw was this queen of cups that they've been emotionally or, or like trying to attack spiritually or sending psychic attacks or whatever they saw that this person was becoming the divine feminine and empress these people already knew they're like wait a minute but see you're becoming the empress because you have a divine counterpart coming in for some of you you're already in divine feminine energy but for some of you perhaps you're not married you don't have it's something about you that you don't have just yet but the reason why these people are trying so hard to block perhaps a marriage is because it's going to completely cleanse and purify your energy. They won't be able to ever get into your energy again. That has already happened whether you have a person in your life or not. These people, they cannot access your energy anymore. And I talked about this earlier in the week when I think we was talking about the soul gate portals. These people have been doing a lot to infiltrate and to get into your energetic and your auric field so that they can siphon your energy and and harvest it and save it and with the aaa this is about fame and fortune so some of you you were supposed to have fame fortune public recognition notoriety and a whole lot of other things maybe so far back as eight years or more ago but somebody has been in the background that you crossed paths with at the entire time. They've been stealing from you. And that's the reason why my ears got so hot before. And I really got upset about people always talking about the past. Because a lot of people will sell you this dream with this whole twin flame journey. That these people who come in to kill, rob, steal, kill, and, and will try to destroy you. That that's your twin flame. Now some twin flames can be very karmic. And they can really try to hurt you, but you shouldn't give the title twin flame to every person that comes into your life just because they teach you a lesson. Whoever this pe this person is from your past, this person has, has, it's like they will sell you to the highest bidder. 
this person has been actively trying to steal and sell your soul because most likely they've already sold their own. And now they, it's like they, they can't be with you. They don't even want to be with you. They only want your energy. And that's why I was saying about from the neck up, they don't want your body. They don't care about being next to you. This person, they, they don't ever have to wake up with you. They don't want to have a home with you. They don't want anything with you. They want from the neck up. They want your voice. They want your spiritual eyes. They want your spiritual ears. They want your crown. Because that is what makes you, you. They want your soul. They want your spirit. They want your essence. It has nothing to do with you. As a physical earthly being. This is someone who probably is already married. So y'all better be real careful of the information that you're taking in and, and receiving. Because I, I, I don't, listen, I'm not perfect. Every sinner <laughs> can, can become a saint and every saint is a sinner. Um, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to sit here and tell anybody that you need to go out here and allow somebody to just mistreat you. And that you need to sit around all of your days waiting on somebody. That wants really nothing to do with you. People who want to be with you, they make it clear. Sitting around waiting for years and years, talking about a twin flame journey. Let me tell you, the twin flame journey, a lot of people are conf really confusing that with just being in a hellhole with a narcissist. You don't have to be abused to learn lessons. This pisses me off because it's too many innocent people, good people out here who really feel like they need to be waiting on a person that's in the background, literally destroying them. A lot of you have crossed paths with these type, and you don't know that these people are master cultists. In these six months and, and nine months and a year that they don't talk to you, they're in cults, covens. They're doing blood sacrifices <laughs> All that time that they're not talking, they don't have to talk to you. They don't care about you. All they want is your energy. And then they use so much black magic and spell work. They're astral traveling in your, in your energy all the time. They don't need to be physically around you. They're around you all the time in the astral. Astral traveling and projecting. They don't want you. I don't know who needs to hear you. You're waiting on somebody that does not want you. And this person has you hanging on to this idea that they're going to come back because they don't want you to actually connect with this earth angel who can protect you forever from this, this devil that you keep thinking is your twin flame. Oh my gosh, this makes me so upset because it's nothing but an illusion here. That's it. Four of Cups. It's an illusion that causes you what? Yes, to miss every single opportunity that's presented to you. Every opportunity that you have to move on to peaceful, calm waters, three of Pentacles to build something, collaborate with good people, connect with your soul family, you miss it. Or this is what this person, look at that. Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. This person comes in like a thief in the night. Every single time you have something happening, boom, they want to tear it up. What comes before this Two of Cups? The Tower. And it's this person in your past, in your energy, with this, this coven or cult of men that every time you go listen to a reading, you're like, oh, my twin flame is coming back. No, the devil is coming back for you. Two of, of cups. A person that wants to come in and invest in you. Who isn't afraid of your power? Queen of Swords, somebody that is like, look, listen, I want you to be in your power. That's the type of person that's coming in for you. They don't want you to be with this type of person that wants you to be in your power because the more powerful you become, the more healed you are, the more you, you force these toxic forbidden lovers out of your energy. Do you see all this money that's out here? This, these, these are grown men who have been manifesting and profiting off of the energy of this divine feminine. These people's houses, their cars, the private schools that their kids go to, it's off of these. It may not be one divine feminine, but it's several divine feminines. And all these men, the truth is, they really can't stand women. 
These are men, seven of pentacles. Whenever they get stressed out, whenever they have a setback in life, because they don't really have vision, they don't want to work hard, they go and they, they want to sacrifice an empress. They want to emotionally connect to a divine feminine. Why? So the hangman, so that they can try and sacrifice you and get you caught up in something where you can never get out of it. Some of you better wake up and realize why you've been bound. And everyone doesn't believe in witchcraft and stuff like that. But seriously, this is someone's life has been affected for a very long time due to witchcraft, spell work, black magic. Because you are keeping your heart open to a whole devil, a demon in your life that unfortunately you actually thought was your lover, your friend, your family. I just like... <laughs> King of Swords. This is the only king that hasn't come out. This is a different deck over here, though. But it's something about a King of Swords. It's a King of Swords for some of you that's in your energy that you are either dealing with or you will. This person could work with the law. This person believes in ethics, self-discipline. They may come off as detached, but this person is logical. And I'm going to tell you one thing about a King of Swords. A King of Swords could easily embody the energy of like Archangel Michael. This person is a spiritual judge. So when they see these toxic men getting into the energy of this divine feminine, they understand that your energy is being drained by this group of men. And it's causing you delayed success. It's causing you to miss out on opportunities. Some of you, you just keep your, your, your constant going in hermit mode and trying to figure out life. The reason why nothing is shaking and moving and shaking for you is because you keep hope alive with this demon of a man or woman that you've had around you. Somebody, somebody here, you need to know, you, you slept with the enemy and that person has never let go of your energy. And something about the number three. This person is like a third degree mason or something like that. This 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 occult or whatever they're in, they're highly ranked for sure. And they like to play in your face. It may not be three men. This number three, they could be like a third degree mason or something like that. This person is astral traveling. They're doing all kinds of stuff. Not to mention the network and the connections that they have to make all their dreams come true. And their biggest dream is to stay connected to you. Because your energy is, is what's allowing them to rank up. Can you believe that? Like your energy is how this person has become ranked up in whatever their secret society or whatever it is. That's why they won't let go of you. But every time you click on a reading, you're like, oh, yeah, I wonder my twin flame is coming back. You're keeping the hope alive and you're keeping this soul tie alive. This person wants nothing to do with you. This person wants nothing more than power. And your energy, it gives them power. This is your supreme narcissist and you happen to be a, a, a real empath. You, are, you soak up all of their negative energy, you transmute it, and, and they get to keep going out in the world being the tyrant that they are. And they're keeping you stuck, hidden away, unable to produce, unable to procreate, co-create, or anything else because you're like their charging station. They don't want anybody else to be with you. They don't want you to do anything. They don't want you to go anywhere because they need access to you. But this person is someone who probably won't even pick up the phone or come around you. No, they don't need to. Whenever they want to get in your energy, they just get into your energy. This person is, is spiritually attacking you probably every day, all day. And unfortunately, some of you, you don't, you don't recognize it. 
because you're so out of tune with yourself and, and the reality that this is not a good situation. Mm -mm. I'm not pulling anything else. Two of Cups. You got the real deal coming. <laughs> if you want it. Knight of Swords. Yeah. You yourself, you'll have to take action. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. When you take action, the Knight of Cups. Someone will come in and declare their love for you. Someone who wants to go towards having an actual partnership that can progress into a union. High Priestess, yep. High Priestess, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Some people who are in a spirit, you're spiritual warriors. You and the person that you're supposed to be with. You need, you need to see that you're, you're supposed to be trying to get rid of your enemy, not going back to them, calling them your twin flame. It's not your twin. Person is, is a devil. And this person is responsible for destroying probably the last eight plus years of your life. My ears are on fire. Every time you've had an opportunity to get a new house, new car, new relationship, friend, have peace in your family. This person is destroying your relationships with family members, friends, making you think that everyone hates you and they're against you. It's all it's all a game. This person is competing with you because I'm telling you, your energy is what's ranking them up in this secret society. They purposely spiritually attack you because they want to see how you may fight back. What is your energy going to do this time? <laughs> 